Hello everyone and thanks for joining me. So um, I got an email from a guy called Best of GVP and he had asked uh, can you use digital juices toolkits and uh, well I do so I guess the answer would be yes right and if you don't know what it is go to digitaljuice.com digitaljuice.com and this is a really cool website which gives you a whole bunch of stuff that you could then use on your video editing softwares and whatnot so go into the animation section and if you scroll down you'll come across what they call toolkits here you go and toolkits is basically little packages of really really cool effects that they have put together for you and then they broke it down to individual parts and I'll show you what I mean alright so I've got this little city effect here City springs out, little car zooms along. Now what you can do, let me just, well I can leave it in there, it doesn't matter. What you can do is you can have individual parts of that video. So let's say you just want uh, the building. There we go, here comes the building. So it's up to you what parts you want and what parts you don't want. And then, you know, you can create your own little intro effects and don't forget because it is a video clip you can add filters to it you can change the effects you can add coloring to it uh, this is what I just quickly slapped together so a little bit of blue coming along the city life's swinging along so there you go alright so um, and how to use this is quite simple uh, you basically have to throw everything into your overlay track because you're going to have to mask out the the black or the layers so let's grab a building double click in mask and chroma key apply overlay options and then bring the adjustment right down now the reason why you need to do this because they are video clips you basically create one layer over another layer and if you mask out the black, then the layer beneath it will then appear. So let's grab another clip. So if I did not mask out this clip, then all you would see is this clip. Mask and chroma key, apply, adjustment right down, and fit the screen. So now, if I uh, go to my project, press play. I'm too lazy to press play, just move the slider. And now you'll see the building pop up and uh, looks like street lights and the traffic light also pops up. So there you go. As you can see, you can definitely use the uh, Digital Juice Toolkits in uh, Video Studio Pro. And as always, thanks for watching.